What's up guys, Guillaume Zone, welcome back to another video, and today we're back on Pro Stack Manager 2021 for yet another mountain gameplay. You guys seem to really enjoy the one with Mikel Landa a couple of days ago, uh, so I decided I would bring another one to the table. This time we're going to move on to the Giro d'Italia. Uh, I thought about taking Lorenzo Fortunato, if I'm being honest, however, he does have, F have 70 mountain, which is not good, but we're going to play the Monte Zoncolan with none other than the Portuguese rider from Dukanon Quick Step. Here he is, Joao Almida, as the name clearly states. Um, and hopefully, we're gonna win it. All right, I'm not sure why I decided to bring Mirko Tivendash to the race, but the boys there, I tried to like get the um, the, the, the jury start list from Dukanon, but I must have forgotten that there was an eighth rider. Um, the other riders in this um, Giro weren't exactly the one we had uh, on, a, well, on the real Giro because we've got Pogacar, we've got, we've got Roglic, I was going to say we've got Landa, but I mean... Mm -hmm. uh, Lopez is there. Yeah, it's a good start. It's much better than the one that, that like, was on the Giro a couple of days ago. I'm going to struggle. We started the um, Forcella di Monterest. This is where, in real life, uh, Astana I decided to um, or kick off the race. UA is uh, going to do what Astana did in real life um, and hopefully have a different outcome because they did finish last of the favorites with Alice and the Blast of that day. Uh, but sadly, I don't think Pogacar is going to end up last. Uh, however, seeing their rhythm, I might be the one ending up last here. All right, uh, we're going to make it to the summits without too many issues. Um, we did lose a couple of riders. I mean, Sadly, we lost Mirko Sivendash. Uh, we're about to lose Peter Seri. Just for the record, Peter Seri has, got, has been getting water since the start of that white marker here. Alright? That's 22 kilometers ago. And he's still yet to give me water, which is how tough it is now to actually get water in this game. It's genuinely impossible. I'm having quite a few attacks before uh, the Zonkoran begins, uh, I'll take you through the breakaway in a couple of seconds. I just want to make sure uh, that my boys are in a decent position. Perfect. If Evenepoel is right here, ready to help Joel Meda when needed. Um, but let's take a look at the breakaway then. As uh, who's dying? That is Ravanelli, Floris Detier, Mark Van Gils, Jose Rada, and then we have Nicola Conchi, who was in the initial breakaway and just joining them. Lenny Kamna, Chiu Chikone, and Dan Martin. So, some solid, solid breakaway companions. Um, Remco, mate, how did you manage to lose positions? I mean, that also applies to usual meta. Why are you on, like, why are you doing? We're going to start the Montezokolan in a bad position with Joe and with Remco Venable, which is great. That's exactly how I wanted to, to start this stage. By being literally in the fucking mist of the peloton. Uh, we've got a few attacks already. Don't tell me Tadej is going. There's 11 kilometers to go, man. For fuck's sakes. What is wrong with you? Also, I did make a mistake by... Uh, I, I, I made a mistake. I should have, like, swapped the two protectees. I should have had, like, Catania protecting Evenepoel and Seri protecting Almeida instead of Masnada and Nox. Uh, Remco, whenever you want, yeah, to, uh, to go help Joel Almeida. We still have 133 riders in this peloton with 8k to go. What is this? And Remco is still not able to fucking go at the front. I'm going to be very angry at Remco Venable if I end up losing because of him. I mean, look at the gaps. I'm already 1 minute 20 down on Tadej Pogacar. Only because I'm not able to do anything. Remco is just badly positioned. And has nothing to do with me. Tade is going to get me. Tade Pogacar is actually a cheat. He's actually a cheat code. I, I, I don't understand how you can beat him unless you've got like a plus five and he doesn't. He's genuinely unreal. Uh, it's unreal. And we're going to start like the toughest portions of the climb um, very soon as well. Who's attacked? Pino with Godu, Yates, Michelanda. All right, Jormeda will not probably challenge for the win. Uh, but if we can come back and have a, a, a nice, like, podium position, that would be, I believe, a decent achievement for our Portuguese leader. Um, I'm getting blocked by Thibaut Pinot right now. Fam, Thibaut, I swear to God! Thank you. 3k to go, we started the toughest portions of the Zonkolan. 
Technically, Radiant's up to a 27%, but um, maybe it's a myth, I don't know. You know what, we're doing some damage. We're also doing some damage to uh, our red and yellow bar. That mean, I mean, the yellow one is, there's none anymore. But we've dropped Landau, we've dropped Lopez, Bardet, Egan Bernal. Mad, okay. Um, we just are going to soon drop Hugh Carthy. Maybe Simon Yates. I mean, Godu is still here. Jeez, pick up David. And you can see how hard it is because all of the riders have literally all like lost their energy. Uh, that... Thank you, David Godu, for being a dickhead. I brought you until like this point and now you attack me. Wow. Um, Poggy is going to win ahead of Primoz Roglic. Godu for third, Joao Meda for fourth. Could have done slightly better if I'd been better positioned in the climb. Maybe not enough to win, but I think enough for third place. But it is a 1 2 for Slovenia. However, if we're only basing ourselves on rider that did take part in the Giro, it's a win for Almeida ahead of Simon Yates, Yukarthi, and Mikelanda. So I'm claiming the win. Also, Schachmann is there? Wow, big ups. I think, yeah, better positioning would have been my savior in today's stage, uh, but. It, it, it just wasn't, wasn't meant to be. Um, got my two videos today. Not exactly the best when it comes to results. Um, fourth place with Joao Almeida. 11th with Remy Edendul. Um, but I do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content in the upcoming days, as we'll have the first uh, series probably rolling out in a couple of days. Um, don't exactly know when, but soon that is for sure. Uh, then do subscribe to the channel as I said um, and and yeah we'll wrap up the video here I do hope you've enjoyed it as I said my name is Guillaume have an amazing day see ya Pass me the funk get your funk on girl and don't you ever let Pass me the go. funk we're getting drunk in here and what comes next will never